you got? Uh, testing one, two, three. Yes. Uh, well, uh, this uh, video was recorded uh, by Pisces Institute cameras located throughout the lock. Lock? As in Ness? But, as you can see, or can't see, uh, the cameras were only able to catch snippets of the creature that compromised our facility. <laughs> At least they could have hired a real actor. This guy's embarrassing. What do you mean? And is that thing made of rubber? <laughs> I don't know. It's too blurry to tell. Maybe the creature... Elsie, please. This is a publicity stunt. Tourism must be down in Scotland, so the locals faked an attack. No, look, look, right here. That could be a dorsal fin. We should check this out, Nick. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? The Loch Ness Monster is nothing but a fable. Yeah. Okay, so it's not exactly a Scorsese film, but I've studied the Loch Ness photos that were taken back in 1975. The images are similar. Would those be the same photos that experts identified as rock formations? Those findings were never conclusive. Ooh, lover's spat. We have a videotape proving the existence of the Loch Ness Monster. No, we don't. All we have is footage of a PR stunt. Nick, think about it, okay? We've seen stuff in the past month that I never would have believed in before. Well, this is different. We deal in science. But what if we could scientifically prove the creature exists? Tell me you'd pass up a chance to see it. I'd like to see it. Well, I would. So would I. You know, from a distance. A monster in Loch Ness. Oh, I know it sounds slightly absurd. Oh, yeah, but I'm sure this new sighting's gonna do wonders for the tourist trade. Well, I suppose. But I have as little as possible to do with the local merchants. Fortunately, the attack was short in duration. Damage was minor. What is in there? Oh, nothing at the moment. But it's a clean room. We had it sealed to avoid contamination. I trust you'll recognize some of these still photographs, which were struck from the original videotape. Oh, yes, the video. Nick? I did enjoy your performance. Really? Well, I have had a modicum of theatrical training. Dr. Trevor, I'm going to need full access to all photographic and videotape evidence, in addition to any database resources on terrestrial vertebrates. You know, it might be worth our while to head into town. Maybe investigate what effect this incident's having on members of the community. Eustace McPhail, proprietor of the Tartan Tea Shop and Museum. If you've been wanting to take the one o'clock tour, I think I can squeeze you in. Lucky us.
But to be honest, I should head back to the Institute. Same here. Yes. Sue yourselves, but between you and me, you're missing a doozy. Well then, lads, are you ready to embark on a mystical journey that defies the very laws of nature? Yeah. For thousands of years, my people have told tales of legendary creatures luring men into the loch. But the first photo wasn't taken until 1934. Nessie only surfaces every 20 years, give or take. Oh, turn it off! Remarkable. Really? <laughs> I only took three lessons in high school. I'm referring to how much you resemble the portrait, Mr... Uh... It's Dr. Dr. Craven. It can't be. Then surely you must be the descendant of Angus MacRaven, the heroic founder of this very city. My dad's from Queens. Aye! That's where the MacRaven settled, after the Great Haggis Famine. I have a family tree somewhere. When were you born? Um, yesterday. Dr. Totopoulos, conditions on the lock have been less than optimal, but I believe we might be able to survey the immediate area if we leave now. I'll get my team together. Check this out! What is that? Like it? It's from the McRaven clan. Just be glad he didn't get the matching underwear. One hundred and twenty fathoms and descending. Depth one hundred sixty fathoms. Here, Nessie, Nessie, Nessie. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Dr. Totopoulos, I regret to say our mission has been for naught. Disability is zero. I suggest we return to the Institute immediately. Dr. Trevor, we just saw something. Uh, I don't know what. No doubt the same school of blowfish we just spied. Nothing that merits concern. Something's out there. We gotta keep going. An imprudent course of action at this time. Now, please. We will be returning to the Institute at once. Okay, take it easy. It looks like you came up pretty fast. He's breathing. One more time. Just to make sure. Ugh, I should throw the little one back, no? Uh, forget about the little one. What are we gonna do about the big one?
your insolent behavior just cost this project an indispensable piece of equipment. I apologize, but to be honest, I didn't believe the creature even existed. You just assumed I would forge scientific evidence? Since it is clear, Doctor, that your knowledge of this situation is not superior to mine, I'll expect you to defer to my expertise from this moment forward. Now, that creature must be stopped. I agree with Dr. Trevor. You can't destroy the Loch Ness Monster. She's a celebrity. Listen, it's not clear yet if this Nessie is a new mutation or something that's been here for centuries. I don't see what difference that makes. If that creature is the actual Loch Ness Monster, then it's been living here peacefully for thousands of years. Meaning that something must have triggered it to attack your institute. I don't care if that thing has been living here 15 centuries or 15 minutes. It is a menace, and I want it destroyed. The man's a scientist. Why would he want to wipe out the greatest amphibious discovery since... since Godzilla? You can't kill Nessie. She's immortal. Maybe Trevor's hiding something. Unlike you. Thanks, but I didn't need any help. Mm. And I'm sure that's what you thought when you selected that outfit. But you were wrong both times. Check out Nessie's neighborhood. Visibility substandard. Optical range limited. Nick! Nick, I have to show you something. At first, I thought maybe we were dealing with an ichthyosaur or a plesiosaur. But then it hit me. Nessie is a mosasaur. Haven't giant sea lizards been extinct for over 66 million years? Maybe, or maybe a mosasaur survived the Ice Age, frozen in a state of suspended animation, and then, when glacial flooding created these locks, it thawed out. You're telling me that Nessie is a real dinosaur, and it's been living here for 10,000 years? I'm saying that this so-called monster surfaces every 20 years or so, which sounds to me like a breeding cycle. Nessie isn't a single immortal creature, Nick. She's part of an ongoing race. I couldn't bypass the security lock, but I hacked into the clean room's audio and video monitors. Say hello to Nessie Jr. Visibility severely impaired. Motion detectors malfunctioning. Come on! Where are you? Nigel! What is wrong? Dr. Tatopoulos, did you or did you not assure me that you and your team were experts at handling unruly beasts? I am inquiring, you see, because thus far I have seen no evidence of that. Call Godzilla. Ugh, I can't activate the signal. Nessie swallowed Nigel like bait on a hook. Hmm. Can I broadcast my voice from here? Certainly. Through the PA system. Good. 
then I need you to evacuate the entire facility immediately. Might I ask why? Considering the obvious fact that this facility is my responsibility? Trust me. Ready? you're doing i think i'm giving nessie what she's been looking for mother and child reunion bro what in blazes are you talking about come on trevor stealing her baby you had to know she'd be ticked the price justified the risk What's the price tag on a one-of-a-kind newborn these days? More than you can imagine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a delivery to make. to reach out and touch a mom. I think it demonstrates Godzilla's ability to make moral decisions. Oh, ridiculous. It was instinctive self-preservation. Nah, it was monster cooperation. And I guess as long as everybody leaves her alone, we won't be seeing Nessie for another 20 years. If you believe in that sort of thing. Okay, so I was wrong. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I was wrong. You were right. Like there was ever any doubt. stuff about the McCravens? It's a scam, man! If your name was Schwarzenegger, he would have called them the Mac Schwarzeneggers. 
Ah! Working like a charm? <laughs> 